Ensure skin is thoroughly exfoliated to create a smooth, even base prior to applying false tan. Massage Corora Micropeel into dry skin prior to showering. This grain-free and non-irritating peel containing fruit enzymes and glycol actively dissolves dead skin cells and evens out skin tone. This product can also be used to break down stubborn tan stains or mistakes. When booking, always advise your client that hair removal should be done at least 24 hours prior to a spray tan. Recommend that they should also avoid using moisturizer and deodorants prior to tanning as this could dilute the color of the spray tan. They should also wear loose, dark clothing and bring flip-flops. The product comes in two shades, 8% for fair to medium skin and 12% for sallow skin or those wanting to achieve a deep dark glow. Ensure solution pot is half full. You should use no more than 50 mils per full body spray tan. Ensure dial is set at 12 to 6 or 9 to 3. Ensure the gun is on a low pressure setting for optimum control. Direct your client to stand with legs shoulder width apart and with arms away from the body. Corora Tan is a lightweight, low viscosity formula. Best results are achieved when product is sprayed at a low setting and at close range to the skin, approximately a hand's distance away from the body. Starting at the back, spray product in even vertical motions from shoulder to hip across the back. Continue spraying in vertical motions down the leg until you reach just above the ankle. Use the same application technique on inner and outer leg. A barrier cream is not essential when using Corora's Professional Tan as it contains pure active botanicals that moisturize the skin. Moving back to the upper body, spray the underarm using a crisscross motion. Continue spraying down the side of the body. Spray straight down each arm, avoiding the elbow. The inner arm should be sprayed lighter than the outer. When you get to the hand, ask the client to make a claw shape and spray in three elongated strokes, ensuring you spray the outer hand and the thumb. Moving back to the lower body, continue spraying in vertical motions down the outer leg. Continue down the front of the leg until you reach just above the ankle ensuring you spray very lightly over the knee. Finish with the inner leg. Repeat application on second leg. Complete by spraying the feet using a light crisscross motion. Complete the upper body by spraying from shoulder to chest in angled lines, following the contours of the breast. For larger chest areas, you may have to use multiple sweeps. Ask the client to take a deep breath and close the eyes before spraying the face in vertical strokes. Finish by observing the whole body to ensure there is even coverage of tan, using the golden caramel colour to guide you. Allow your client a couple of minutes to dry before dressing. Advise them that the light golden colour on the skin is an application guide and that the tan continues to develop over six to eight hours. During this time, the skin should remain dry. They can then shower off the colour guide and the tan will remain on the skin for up to seven days. It will fade away gradually.